Well, here I am again in another demonstration for oppressed peoples in the Middle East. I've been doing this for 40 years and it brings, in a sense, all my life together because it doesn't matter if it's a country or a people that are oppressed or it's homeless people or it's hungry people, whatever, it's my job to be a sign that there's always hope that there can be a new way of living. Shame, shame, Donald Trump! The situation for the Kurdish people has not changed. They are great allies of the West, they support the West, and what happens? At critical moments in, the, in time, we betray them. And I cannot understand why we do that. That's why I'm here. I am here because all of these people have a longing for a home, and there is no home that they have. They are in parts of all these different countries and they deserve to have a home of their own. in all of this. The Kurdish people have something the whole world is afraid of. And that is, they have a dream. They know who they are. Kurdish people know who they are. They have their stories. They have, they have a dream. And a dream is like the wind. It's like the rain. Bullets cannot kill the wind they cannot stop the rain. The armies will come. The buildings will come. But they will fall away. And the dream remains. And what is the dream? It's we are free people. We are all born free people. Maybe armies come and control us, but they can't control our dreams. They can't control what we pass on to our children. They cannot stop a dream. And your dream is more powerful. The reason Erdogan's going for you is because he's afraid of you. They are afraid of you. Because the power you have is the power that no mortal army or dictator can control. It's the dream to be free Kurdish people. And God bless the Kurdish people, and God bless Abdullah Ocalan, God bless you people, because you are the holders of the dream. Thank you. What am I about? I'm about every person on this earth being born potentially into freedom. And what happens? There's always somebody wants to take your freedom away. Whether it's individual, collective, whether it's countries, there's always someone trying to take your freedom away. My job, I think, is to be a sign that no matter what and no matter how imprisoned or how driven to the bottom of the barrel people are, there is always hope and always a future.